Unit 9, Natural Disasters. 2. Listen and read. Pages 74 and 75. Twee is talking to her grandmother. Grandma, it's the weather forecast on TV. Can you turn up the volume, Twee? Yes, Grandma. Here is tomorrow's weather forecast. Hanoi and areas to the north will be sunny. Hanoi will have temperatures between 23 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. It will be raining along the coast of Tanwa. The south central coast can expect thunderstorms. Hue will experience temperatures between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. There will also be thunderstorms over the central highlands. Areas around the Kulong Delta can expect clouds during the day. Ho Chi Minh City's temperatures will be between 27 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius. That's all, Grandma. Thank you, dear. What are you doing? I'm preparing for a picnic with some old friends of mine. We haven't met since we left school. We're going to a park on the other side of Tang Lung Bridge. Why don't you bring along a raincoat? But, Grandma, the forecast says it'll be sunny. I never trust weather forecasts. You don't miss a single one on TV, do you? But I like watching them, dear. All right, Grandma. I'll bring some raincoats just in case. I hope my friends won't laugh at me. Two. Listen and read. Pages 74 and 75. Twee is talking to her grandmother. Grandma, it's the weather forecast on TV. Can you turn up the volume, Twee? Yes, Grandma. Here is tomorrow's weather forecast. Hanoi and areas to the north will be sunny. Hanoi will have temperatures between 23 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. It will be raining along the coast of Tanwa. The south central coast can expect thunderstorms. Hue will experience temperatures between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. There will also be thunderstorms over the central highlands. Areas around the Kulong Delta can expect clouds during the day. Ho Chi Minh City's temperatures will be between 27 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius. That's all, Grandma. Thank you, dear. What are you doing? I'm preparing for a picnic with some old friends of mine. We haven't met since we left school. We're going to a park on the other side of Tang Lung Bridge. Why don't you bring along a raincoat? But, Grandma, the forecast says it'll be sunny. I never trust weather forecasts. You don't miss a single one on TV, do you? But I like watching them, dear. All right, Grandma. I'll bring some raincoats just in case. I hope my friends won't laugh at me. Unit 9. Natural Disasters. 4. Listen. Page 77. Copy the table into your exercise book, then complete it. If you live in an earthquake zone, you should take some time to look around your house. Place heavy books on the bottom shelf of your bookshelves. Block the rollers on your fridge and washing machine to prevent them from moving. Put hanging potted plants in plastic containers. Check the mirrors in your bathroom and bedroom. Make sure they can't move. Don't put your bed next to a window. Planning where you are going to be during an earthquake is very important. 
The first thing to remember is to stay inside. Then you should sit under a strong table or doorway or stand in the corner of a room. 4. Listen. Page 77. Copy the table into your exercise book, then complete it. If you live in an earthquake zone, you should take some time to look around your house. Place heavy books on the bottom shelf of your bookshelves. Lock the rollers on your fridge and washing machine to prevent them from moving. Put hanging potted plants in plastic containers. Check the mirrors in your bathroom and bedroom. Make sure they can't move. Don't put your bed next to a window. Planning where you are going to be during an earthquake is very important. The first thing to remember is to stay inside. Then you should sit under a strong table or doorway or stand in the corner of a room. Unit 9. Natural Disasters. 5. Read pages 77 and 78. Earthquakes. 90% of earthquakes occur around the Pacific Rim, which is known as the Ring of Fire. In 1995, a huge earthquake struck the city of Kobe in Japan. A large number of people were killed when homes, office blocks, and highways collapsed. Tidal waves. Tidal waves are the result of an abrupt shift in the underwater movement of the earth. In the 1960s, a huge tidal wave hit Anchorage, Alaska. The tidal wave traveled from Alaska to California. Typhoons. When tropical storm reaches 120 kilometers per hour, it is called a hurricane in North and South America, a cyclone in Australia, and a typhoon in Asia. The word typhoon comes from the Chinese, tai means big, and feng means wind. So the word typhoon means big wind. Volcanoes. We can usually predict when a volcano will erupt. Mount Pinatubo, which is a volcano in the Philippines, erupted in 1991. It was the world's largest volcanic eruption in more than 50 years. Hundreds of people died, but thousands were saved because scientists had warned them about the eruption. Tornadoes. Tornadoes are funnel-shaped storms which pass over land below a thunderstorm. They can suck up anything that is in their path. In Italy in 1981, a tornado lifted a baby who was asleep in its baby carriage into the air and put it down safely 100 meters away. 5. Read pages 77 and 78. Earthquakes. 90% of earthquakes occur around the Pacific Rim, which is known as the Ring of Fire. In 1995, a huge earthquake struck the city of Kobe in Japan. A large number of people were killed when homes, office blocks, and highways collapsed. Tidal waves. Tidal waves are the result of an abrupt shift in the underwater movement of the earth. In the 1960s, a huge tidal wave hit Anchorage, Alaska. The tidal wave traveled from Alaska to California. Typhoons. When tropical storm reaches 120 kilometers per hour, it is called a hurricane in North and South America, a cyclone in Australia, and a typhoon in Asia. The word typhoon comes from the Chinese, tai means big, and feng means wind. So the word typhoon means big wind. Volcanoes. 
We can usually predict when a volcano will erupt. Mount Pinatubo, which is a volcano in the Philippines, erupted in 1991. It was the world's largest volcanic eruption in more than 50 years. Hundreds of people died, but thousands were saved because scientists had warned them about the eruption. Tornadoes. Tornadoes are funnel-shaped storms which pass over land below a thunderstorm. They can suck up anything that is in their path. In Italy in 1981, a tornado lifted a baby who was asleep in its baby carriage into the air and put it down safely 100 meters away. <laughs>